بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا اسٹرکچر آف وائرس فرسٹ آف آل وی ہیو ٹو نو وٹ از اے وائرس وائرس از این انفیکشیس ایجنٹ دیٹ کین اونلی ریپلیکیٹ آن دا ادر سیلس بیکاز اٹ ڈز ناٹ کنٹین اٹس اون مشینری فار دا ریپلیکیشن ایز یو کین سی ان دس پکچر دا وائرس contain three important components the centrally placed nucleic acid or the viral genome and the protein capsid covering it and the outermost layer is the viral envelope known as the lipid envelope all these three components the nucleic acid the protein capsid and the lipid envelope form an infectious agent which has the ability to infect the host cell in which it enters known as a virus now let's talk about each components one by one and their functions the nucleic acid of the virus is located internally and which can be a single or double stranded dna or single or double stranded rna the shape of it may be linear or circular and the important thing is that the dna in the viral genome is always a single molecule while the rna can be a single molecule or it can be present in segmented form For example, in influenza virus, in rota virus, there are segmented RNA genomes. And the second component of the viral structure is that the protein capsid, which is present mostly in two shapes. The icosahedral shape, which is just like a hexagonal structure, holding the viral genome in it and protecting it from the host cells and the second shape of the viral capsid the protein capsid may be helical the protein capsid have many functions and we are going to discuss each of them one by one the first function of the protein capsid it acts like a protective shield in holding the viral genome and encoded enzymes the second function is it acts a binding receptor the protein capsid act as a receptor ligand and initiate the uptake of infection into the host cell by binding the receptor of that cell and the third function is that it can produce antigenic stimulus to create an immune response without this protein capsid in the protein capsid of the virus the virus won't be able to infect any body cells the third component of the viral structure is that the lipid envelope it is the outermost layer of the lip virus which is not always present in all form of the viruses in all families of viruses it has two functions first of all it aids the entry of virus into the host cells just like protein capsid and the second function of the lipid envelope is that it disguises the virus lipid envelope disguises the protein capsid layer from host immune system so protect the virus from being identified by our immune system now the question is that from where this lipid envelope come let's see the viruses get their envelope from plasma membrane of the host cells 
while they are exiting from the cell after causing infection. There is something exception in herpes virus family, which obtain their envelope from the nuclear membrane of the host and forms of virus. Virus exists in many forms, generally three forms. Naked mean without any envelope. An envelope which is enveloped with icosahedral capsid and enveloped with helical capsid. Let's see all of them one by one. Here we can see this in this picture. There is a naked virus. The protein capsid is covering the viral genome and there is no lipid envelope covering it. So this is called a naked virus. And naked virus having an icosahedral protein capsid. The second is that enveloped viruses with icosahedral capsid. This virus is an enveloped virus and it contains icosahedral capsid just like a hexagonal structure and covering the viral genome and protecting it. The third structure, the enveloped viruses with helical capsids. All the viruses that contain a helical capsid is always covered by the envelope. There is no helical capsid viruses without envelope. And all these were the structure of virus. And in the next lecture, we are going to cover the replication of the virus. Thank you for listening. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe and like our videos. Thank you so much.